Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths from social media, as seen at Legacy.com in the first week of August 2022. Actor Roger E. Mosley died August 7, 2022, at a hospital in Los Angeles. He died of injuries sustained in a car accident at the age of 83. He starred on the original Magnum P.I. as helicopter pilot Theodore T.C. Calvin. Mosley is also being remembered for roles in movies including The Mac and Lead Belly and on TV in Hangin' with Mr. Cooper. Singer and actress Olivia Newton-John died August 8, 2022 at her home in California. She died after fighting breast cancer at the age of 73. Her superstar acting career featured a leading role in the beloved movie musical Grease. Newton-John is also being remembered for her pop and country music, with hits including Physical and I Honestly Love You. Reality TV star Ryan Fellows died August 7, 2022, in Las Vegas. He died in a car accident at the age of 41. He was a cast member of the Discovery Channel show Street Outlaws Fastest in America. Fellows is being remembered for his love of racing. Author Albert Woodfox died August 4, 2022, in New Orleans. He died of complications from COVID-19 at the age of 75. He was imprisoned in solitary confinement for almost 44 years. Many believe he didn't commit the crime he was convicted of due to contradictory evidence. Woodfox is being remembered for his advocacy for prison reform after his release, as well as for his Pulitzer Prize-nominated memoir, Solitary. Environmental activist John Rensenbrink died July 30, 2022, at the age of 93. He was a co-founder of the Green Party of the United States, as well as the Maine Green Party. Rensenbrink is being remembered for his passion for the earth and for his work mentoring and advising Green Party candidates. Singer Judith Durham died August 5, 2022, in Melbourne, Australia. She died of lung disease at the age of 79. She was the lead singer for the Australian folk band The Seekers, known for their 1966 international hit Georgie Girl. Durham is also being remembered for other hit songs including The Carnival is Over and A World of Our Own. Singer Sam Gooden died August 4, 2022, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, at the age of 87. He was the baritone voice of The Impressions, known for hits including People Get Ready and It's All Right. He is being remembered for his influence on soul music and the civil rights movement. Gooden was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s. Fashion designer Issei Miyake died August 5, 2022, in Tokyo. He died of liver cancer at the age of 84. He was known for his influential avant-garde designs of the 1980s and 90s, especially his Pleats Please collection. Miyake is also being remembered for his signature fragrances and for designing the iconic black turtleneck worn by Steve Jobs. Author and narrator David McCullough died August 7, 2022, at his home in Hingham, Massachusetts, at the age of 89. He made American history fascinating with award-winning books including Truman, The Johnstown Flood, and John Adams. McCullough is also being remembered for narrating documentaries and films including Seabiscuit and The Civil War. Songwriter Lamont Dozier died August 8, 2022, in Arizona at the age of 81. He was part of the Holland Dozier Holland songwriting and production team that shaped the sound of Motown, writing an incredible string of hits for artists such as the Supremes and the Four Tops. 
Dozier is being remembered for chart-topping singles including Baby Love, Heat Wave, Stop in the Name of Love, and many more. Author and illustrator Raymond Briggs died August 9, 2022 of pneumonia at the age of 88. He is best known for his picture book, The Snowman, a beloved classic of British children's literature. He is also being remembered for his graphic novels for adults, including his story of nuclear war, When the Wind Blows. Briggs was a veteran of the British Army, serving in the Royal Corps of Signals in the 1950s. Martial artist Jean LaBelle died August 9, 2022, at the age of 89. Known as the godfather of grappling, he was a judo champion and wrestler who pioneered mixed martial arts. LaBelle is also being remembered as a stuntman and actor, as well as a teacher who trained Bruce Lee and Ronda Rousey. Actor Clue Gulliger died August 5, 2022, at his son's home in Los Angeles. He died of natural causes at the age of 93. He starred on The Virginian as Deputy Emmett Riker, and he had a prominent role in his movie debut, The Killers. He is also being remembered for roles in horror movies, including The Return of the Living Dead and A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Gulliger was a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps, serving for two years in the 1940s. You may not know that any family can place an obituary on Legacy in honor of a loved one's memory. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of retired Maryland Court of Appeals Judge Joseph F. Murphy, Jr. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to mark the 10th anniversary of the Oak Creek Sikh Temple tragedy. Flags in Tennessee have been lowered to honor the memory of Marine Corps Reserve Corporal William R. Ragsdale, Jr. He went missing in action as he fought in World War II, and his remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of Clare County Sheriff's Deputy Nicole Schuff, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Jane Haycock Woods. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Elwood Police Officer Noah Shanavas. Flags in Hawaii have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Supreme Court Chief Justice Ronald Moon. Flags in South Dakota have been lowered to honor the memory of Fifth Circuit Court Presiding Judge John Flemmer. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of California Department of Transportation Engineer Ali Shabazz. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of North Huntington EMS Rescue and Monroeville Fire EMS Paramedic Fred Mano, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of former Mayor Susan Welchel of Boca Raton. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, musician Glenn Campbell died of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 81. Fifteen years ago this week, TV host Merv Griffin died of prostate cancer at the age of 82. Forty years ago this week, actor Henry Fonda died of heart disease at the age of 77. Actress Norma Shearer was born 120 years ago this week. She died in 1983 of bronchial pneumonia at the age of 80. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.